Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here, New Jersey Exposed. Today is Sunday, September 3rd, 2023. Time is 3.37 p.m. Jersey time and a very pleasant Jersey time. Temperatures are up in the 80s. There's like a mild breeze in the air. It's beautiful weather. You can see in, you can see in the back there. How do I do it? Right there. <laughs> it's beautiful out today. It really is. So, uh... And as you can see, I have a new different uh, backdrop here. I don't have the van anymore. It, uh, it's been retired. So we'll uh, have to set up another backdrop for you. I was actually going to do this outside at a picnic table, but it is beautiful, and I'm down at a park, and a lot of people around, so I don't want to draw attention. So this comes out on, uh, when is this uh, dated? Uh, they give me a date on this thing here? All right, I'm not seeing the data, but it was the other day. So I want to say it was August 30th. Oh, here we go. September 1st, 2023. This is reported on the Houston Public Media.org. And it reads as follows. In battle, Houston police officer resigns amid indecent exposure allegations. Well, allegations, I'll tell you what, folks. I don't know how much change I got here in my little console, but uh, I'll bet all that change is probably at least $10 worth of change sitting in there. I got a lot of quarters. Uh, that he is guilty, because what do we know about these bad cops, these bad psychopathic narcissistic cops? They got problems with their private parts. Captain Dick Johnson, once again, steering the ship into troubled waters. Here's the story right here. Can you see that? There it is. And yes, I'll put the link in the description for you. All right, let's find out what happened here. A Houston Police Department officer resigned. Oh, he resigned. Now, I have not read the full story. But when you hear them resign, that means he's probably got a little time in on the, on the job. And uh, he's going to protect his pension. You know, that he resigns. By resigning, that means... Uh, you know, you can't, if somebody says you've ever been fired, no, I have not been fired. But, you know, again, if you did this crap on the job, I don't care about you resigning. You give me all the resignation letters you had. You did it on the job, you're fired. All you people out there, you're on the job. You go out there and whip your wiener out in front of somebody and start pledging yourself or something. You think your employer is going to keep you even if you did it on your own personal time? Of course not, because that's how the private sector weeds out bad apples. But as we know, law enforcement, it doesn't work that way. It's a whole different set of rules. Uh, a Houston Police Department officer resigned after being accused of exposing his genitals, genitals to two women on consecutive days last week, once while also displaying a handgun, and once while his two-year-old son... Oh, my God. <coughs> so he's got a two-year-old son, and he's allegedly whipping his wiener out, with the kid there, what'd he do? Leave the kid in the car and he got out and, and did the old uh, wiener wave? He's got a two-year-old. Well, what's he done to the two-year-old? That's, that's my next question. And who's a badge bunny that thought it was a good idea to fornicate with him? Tw oh, he's 25, so there is no pension here. He's got very little time in. So him resigning is... Uh, I guess that's his way of getting out of any departmental investigation and uh, not to be fired, but 25, he hasn't been on the job that long. So once in a while, once while also displaying a handgun and once while his two-year-old son was with him. Well, that's good. William McCoy, 25. Well, what do I say about hiring him under the age of 25? Under the age of 30, say people, don't hire cops under the age of 30. Why? Because they're irresponsible, they're, they're just, their uh, hormones are regulating their brain, you know, their, their wiener is directing the ship. That's just how it is at 25 and all you older guys are out there shaking your head. Yeah, that's right. You know, when I was 20, and, I, and I'll say it too, when I was 25, the only thing in my mind was trying to hook up. 
But I wasn't a cop with a badge and a gun, so I had to go out and find women the old-fashioned way. You go, me, I was a go-go bar, but at the age of 25, I was, I was with my daughter's mother, so I was a little domesticated then. Anyway, back to the story. He has been charged with two misdemeanor counts of indecent exposure and one felony count, ooh, one felony count of indecency with a child by exposure, exposure, according to Harris County Court Records. I bet there's a camera somewhere that caught him. You know, one girl, one lady comes in and complains. Uh, they take the thing, but then when you got another person totally not connected to the other one and they come in, that's when they all stop and take a look and, you know, go around and see where this took place at, see if there's any cameras up there, see if you can get the video. Uh, will, uh, uh, he's decently with a child by exposure, according to Harris County Court Records. The alleged incident occurred on August 24th and 25th in the same shopping center parking lot in Humble, <coughs> a suburb of northeast of Human of Houston. While McCoy was off duty and using a prison vehicle court documents show, McCoy was suspended by HPD on Monday and resigned Thursday, according to the statement released by the department. Court records show he was released from jail Thursday on bonds totaling 5200 McCoy allegedly admitted, oh, he admitted uh, performing the lewd acts along with having a gun on him during the first incident and having his child present during the second incident. Now, you have a gun on yourself and you commit a crime, uh, 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 an indictable offense, uh, that adds more time to your, at least in New Jersey anyway. And I'm sure it's the same everywhere else. Uh, along with having a gun, having, in a phone interview with a detective from the Humble Police Department, according to a probable cause affidavit filed under the court, the defendant admitted to me that he committed these acts in hopes the woman would be happy with what they see and say it's nice and that he could use this at home later for his gratification. Dustin Thompson wrote, uh, Thompson of the Humble Police Department wrote in the affidavit. So basically what this guy is doing, he gets his nut off by exposing his private parts. Maybe he's a little well endowed, but he's a McCoy. That's an Irish name. So I've heard rumored that there's the thing called the Irish curse. I got Irish in me. I'm not going to comment on it, but I'm happy with what I have. Uh, <clears throat> Now, I would be willing to go on record saying that he's probably, this is not the first time he's done it, and maybe he's had positive results, or maybe uh, those women didn't do anything about it and just dismissed it and went about their business. So he gets his, you know, he gets aroused by this, and then he goes home, and I guess he just replays the whole act in his brain. Maybe he's got a body camera on him, and he's recording it or something. And, you know, he, uh, he, uh, Spanks the monkey. Now, I don't know if he's married or not, but I would say if I was his wife, <laughs> I'd be filing for a divorce. <laughs> I'd have his ass removed from the house or I'd pick up the kid and leave. I, you, I wouldn't want to be associated with that. And the poor kid, you know, the poor kid. It comes down to the child. The child is the one that pays the price because now you got a father <coughs> who's been caught doing something stupid. And, you know, if you, you got charges out there on you, you know, spanking your monkey in public in front of a woman or getting yourself aroused in public and exposing yourself, that's not the kind of charge you want on your record. It's, it's not like, oh, I got in a fight and I beat somebody up or uh, uh, I was drunk or got in a fight, whatever, you know, some stupid ass shit. But you got a child. You got a charge like that, and you, people find out that a child is involved. You're never going to get a job. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that working for him. Because if I found out he was working somewhere, else, I'd go to the employer and say, "Why are you hiring this guy? This guy whipped his wiener out and pledged himself, or did something to that extent with his two-year-old stunning, standing there or in the area while he's doing it. This is what you want working for you." The uh, defendant admitted to me that he committed these acts and hoped the woman would be happy with what they see and say it's nice and that he could use this at home. Doesn't up, 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 up. So, anyway, let me see. It goes on. 
Uh, the, oh, we can't wait to hear what the defense attorney had to say. A uh, defense attorney for McCoy was not listed in the online court records as the Friday court documents show that a judge ordered that McCoy be evaluated for a mental illness or an intellectual disability. Well, wait a second. When they hire these uh, fake heroes, these gang members, don't they uh, put them through a psychological test? We know how good those tests are. And I was just talking to one of my, one of my cop friends who happens to be a retired lieutenant. And we have a, him and I are, are very good friends at this point. And, uh, you know, we were talking about this uh, psychological thing because we were discussing some of the crap that was going on. And he, he, me, he thought just like it did. He says, you know, these, these tests are, are nonsense. I go, yeah, they are nonsense because people are going to answer those questions the way they are expected to answer them. These tests are baloney. I'll tell you what. You want to hire a cop, just send them over to me. Just send them out with me. Give me a good half hour, hour. I just want to talk to them. Some of them I can figure them out in two seconds, but, you know, let me talk to them. And uh, I'll let you know probably in 15, 20 minutes whether you hire this guy or not. Because I know what to look for. All right, let me see. Hold on a second here, people. In my eye. All right, let's carry on here. McCoy, who joined the Houston Police Department 2021, so he's only been around, what, two years, year and a half, and worked in its North Belt Patrol Division, was previously suspended by the department after he struck and killed a pedestrian, Caleb Swap. Holy fucking Christ. You know, the writing's on the wall. You got an asshole that killed somebody. Now, I know what you're saying. Oh, you know, the God is saying, you're, uh, John, you're jumping to conclusion. You don't know what the re reasons were around that, why he got killed. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, this person he killed was 24 years old while driving his patrol vehicle early January 4th on Aldine Bender Road. Okay, so how much did that cost the taxpayers? The Harris County Sheriff's Office investigated crash, the crash and found and his findings were presented to a grand jury which on July 18th declined to charge McCoy with criminally negligent harm negligence well he's probably on his phone and we know how it goes who's the person he killed was that an upstanding person in the community or that person had a few problems with the law on August 24th McCoy is alleged to have walked up to a woman who was sitting in a parked car Outside of a Hobby Lobby. Okay, so it's not like he was just sitting there on a park bench and she walked by and he did the he did the weenie wave. He went out of his way to do this. So this is a planned thing. This is just not a, a happenstance. I was sitting in a parked car in Humble. He allegedly exposed himself to the woman and masturbated for about 10 seconds before the woman hawked her horn several times at which point McCoy shrugged his shoulders and walked back toward his white Honda sedan while a handgun was holstered to his hip. Okay, so again people, I'm not advocating this, but I would say if you're going to go out in public and do the weenie wave and the weenie smack in front of some innocent woman minding her business, uh, why would you leave your car in present view? Why not park the car a mile down the road and go head out? No, he parked the car there. So now she's got the description of the car, the description of him, and she has a license plate. All right, they forgot to put a charge in there called stupidness. Well, he, and he had his handgun on him. Well, that's smart. Well, at least he's got it on. I'm not leaving it laying around so the two-year-old can kill himself. The next day in a Jason parking lot, McCoy is alleged to have driven up to a woman who was standing with a dog and asked her if she had car trouble. <clears throat> when the woman leaned over to speak to McCoy through the passenger side window of his car, he allegedly had his pants down and masturbated for a few seconds before driving off according to the court documents which show that the woman also saw a young child sitting in the back of the car in a forward-facing car seat. You know, this is disgusting. But this is what narcissists do. They don't care. 
it's all about their own, in this case, his own gratification. He doesn't care. I'm more disgusted by the fact that he has his child sitting in the back seat. Now, I don't know about him or you people out there, but when I had my daughter in my car seat, I didn't put the car seat behind the driver's side, on the driver's side. I put it over there on the passenger side so when I'm driving along, I look over and I can see my kid in the car seat. So no doubt in my mind, and just speculation, that that kid saw what the old man was doing. And it's very sad. It's very sad that, you know, you disregard the women that you're pleasuring yourself from, but you, disre you disrespected your child. And that man, uh, he admitted to doing it, so I think he should lose. I don't know, it doesn't say if he's married. I got a feeling he's not married. I got a feeling he probably had the kid out for the day and did what he did. If that is the case, then they need to take, uh, he should be, not allowed to see his child right now and when the time comes where they, they let him back to see the kid that maybe it should be a supervised uh, visitation but my own personal feelings about it is any custody he has should be taken away any visitation time he has should be taken away for the time being until this all gets resolved and uh, it's just disgusting but this is what goes on out in law enforcement they have problems with their private parts, their testosterone. This is why they, these, these cops like to beat people up. They got a high testosterone. So maybe the solution is that well, you want to be a cop. We're going to send you down out to the doctor's office and have some blood drawn and have your testosterone level measured. They can measure it. I've had it done. I had some blood work done uh, about three years ago when I was at the, uh, the cardiologist's office. He's doing some blood work. I said, hey, uh, how about throwing the... Uh, testosterone. He goes, oh, you got a low T? You got a problem? I go, no, I got a problem. Just curiosity. Well, I have to put something down on the, just put down and I'm feeling tired. Okay. And what they got, it's not like this is, this is what your count is. Blah, blah, blah. They have different age groups. So the older you are, your naturally your testosterone drops and goes, goes lower. So it's a, it's a graduated thing. So, but I would say they need to do blood work to see what kind of testosterone. They if they're off, if you know, if they're in a, if they're off the, off the, uh, off the, off the graph, off the scale with the testosterone, it's probably not a good idea to hire these. And it's definitely not a good idea to hire anybody under the age of 30. And quite frankly, I'd like to raise it up to 35. That way they can work 25 years and that'll bring them to 60 and that's it. No more retiring and then coming back, working in the same department, doing a different job and drawing a pension and a salary. So anyway, there you have it. You got Officer Masturbator there and then he's uh, pleasuring himself in front of his child and he got two random women, only it backfired on him. And uh, you know, this is and no doubt, I'll go on record saying this, I'm not gonna put any disclaimer. It is no doubt he has done this before. I'm John Van Dyke for New Jersey Exposed. Let me know what you think in the uh, comments section and make it a point to go to that police department, Houston's Police Department, Facebook or Humble Police Department, whatever it is. Read the article, I'll put, it in the, put the link in there in the description for you. And go down there and just express them, say, who was hiring these people? Who signed off on this guy? That's all you do. You put the link to the story in there and you just put in there, who signed off on this? Because they need to be held accountable too. I'm John Van Dyke. Till next time, we'll see you later.